SNES Drunk. Hey everyone, this is the SNES Drunk with another new Let's Play. It's going to be... Wait for it. Come on. Robotrack, the very definition of a hidden gem on the Super Nintendo. This game was originally released on uh, Super Famicom under the title Slapstick, where it had completely different artwork, art style, and everything like that. If you looked at the cover of this game as it was released in the United States, it looks super serious and super, like, like dark and, like, f foreboding and all that. It's, it's, this is a very goofy game. Um, I, I, th I really like it. I've actually never finished it. I've gotten about halfway, more, a little bit more than halfway, I think. Um, what I plan on doing with this Let's Play is this is going to be kind of my, my go-to Let's Play anytime I run out of other stuff to play. I don't, I don't even know if I'll get through this whole game, but I want to get more attention to this game because I don't think enough people know about it. I think it's a very good RPG. It has flaws big time for sure. Like the translation is really strange at times and kind of nonsensical. But um, I think more people should know about this game. So this is, I, I did a review of it. It was one of my first reviews. Cause in fact, this game was part of the reason why I started my channel. It's like, I don't, I can't find any videos on this game. This game is, this game is fun. It makes me laugh out loud. It's good. More people should know about this. So here we go. And by the way, if I sound any different, um, it's because I'm using a different microphone. I'm sick of my other microphone cutting in and out. My nice microphone, my condenser mic cuts in and out and stuff. So uh, shout out to the Jesus. I'm using my old Audix uh, vocal mic. This mic is a piece of shit. It's seen some wars. It looks like hell, but it works. <laughs> uh, this microphone's almost 20 years old. It's like 15, 18 years old, something like that. But it works. Anyway, yeah, there's a peaceful town of Rococo on the planet Quint Quintenix. And then these dudes show up out of nowhere. They spread evil. These really goofy looking ninja guys. So it's like... <laughs> robbing moving cars. <laughs> destroying sandcastles. Making children cry. And disrupting things. Like fem hitting on female cops, I guess that's supposed to represent. Then androids created by them appeared. <laughs> Anxiety mounted. Yeah, so the hackers are the enemies. Or why they came. It's up to us to find out. So yeah, and you are resident of Rococo. You just moved there. You're the son of an inventor. And his dream, as it says there, is to be an inventor. I'm not going to be one of those guys that like reads every line of di dialogue as we go into the Let's Play. I'll, I, you guys can read, presumably. If, you, if you'd rather have me read the dialogue, I can. But I'd rather not. Thing is, is that I, sometimes I'm going to forget I'm playing a Let's Play. I can read really fast. I'm used to like watching anime with English subtitles. So I can read pretty quickly, so I might end up going through this, the text fast. If I do, feel free to yell at me in the comments. Anyway, yeah, let's get this going. We're going to start a new game. I'm playing this on the Retron 5, and for whatever reason, it did not import my old save, which is kind of annoying. But yeah, I'm going to go with good old-fashioned drunk. All right, here we go. Yes, the typical RPG cliche. Starting with fast asleep. Oh, what did he fart on him? Yes, that's a fart joke. Insert Viva's and Butthead laugh. <laughs> you slept for a really long time. Yeah, that's right. They just moved into town, so they're still getting acquainted and all that kind of stuff. And I think that's a cat. That. Uh, gotta speed up this text. It's brutal. Yeah, that's a cat. What is this thing? It looks like a primitive version of the internet. Yeah, where it's... 
Actor Razor 2, an illusion guy, great games. Reminds me of the middle, the intermission of uh, Blades of Steel. Contra, Jackal, great games. Anyway, I am one of those really anal people when it comes to RPGs. So, I'm going to check everything in every nook and cranny. Check the fireplace here, nothing. Yeah, you got like this little like magnifying glass, I guess it is. Let's see what this is. Yeah, and when you level up in this game through battles, you check out these books. I gotta change the tech speed real quick. You check out these books and then they teach you new skills. So you don't just automatically get new skills. Um, that sounds much better. You don't just automatically get new skills when you level up. I mean, you, you get more points for your robots as I'll explain when we get there. But um, you gotta go like read these books to get better equipment to be able to build better equipment. Let's see if there's anything back here. Yeah, we found a clean. That is like the status eraser, status clear. And cure is your is a cure. Gives you hit points back. And here they have different level books scattered throughout the game. So yeah, you do have to come back here pretty frequently after you level up to relearn all this stuff. So it's over here. Yeah, like I said, I'm going to be using this Let's Play. I might do like four or five episodes and then switch to another game and then come back to this one. It's just RPGs are really long. I mean, for me, because I'm a very meticulous player when it comes to RPG, it's very time consuming. I like to check everything. It looks like we got to go talk to the mayor. Sorry if I'm going through this too fast. I, I'm going to forget most of the time. Go see the mayor, okay. That other people are watching this. So, please forgive me. I'll get used to it. Okay. Get out of the way. I want to check the mailbox. Nothing's in there. Okay. Oh, let's wander around town. Hey, what's this flashing sign here? Crispy shop. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Okay. Hey, thanks. That's cool. Yeah, see, we've got more books over here. After you level up, you check those books. Let's go back here. Hey, come on. See, I like that about this game. It doesn't let you go everywhere, and I'll demonstrate something else here. You got to ring the doorbell. And even when you do that, <laughs> this guy gets all pissed. <laughs> you just barge into people's houses. And yeah. More clues to go over to the mayor's house or mayor's mansion or whatever. Go see the mayor. Is this guy gonna talk? Oh, you have to press it twice. Hmm. What is going on here? Let's see what's over here. Hey, what's up? Mint. Yes, she is an important character in the game. <laughs> Gossipy, dirty, filthy. Reputation as a ham. <laughs> not sure if he knows it. He's not self-aware. It's cool to be a ham if you're aware, but if you're not, you're just annoying. Let's see. You click on this guy. He gets all pissed. Looks out. And that's right. It's Ding Dong Ditch in an RPG. Great way to waste time. <laughs> Yes, this was a peaceful town until hackers came. Yeah, press one of the control buttons on the controller. Okay, that's up to you to decide which one. So this over here. Hmm. Okay. What's your problem? No. Still dicking around here. Hey, how's it going? Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Even the cat is confused. What do we got up here? Hey, free stuff. She's old. She won't care. Uh, there we go. Okay. Anything over here? No. Uh-oh. Romeo and Juliet. How tragic. Families don't get along, but they're in love. Uh, all right, let's go hang out with the mayor then, or should I just 
waste more time. We're almost to the 10 minute mark. I think I'll just dick around some more. Nobody's home. There you go. What's that up here? Hey, it's a dog. Hey, now he's following. Now he's my dog. <laughs> hey, what's up? Nuh-uh. <laughs> Very stately. Bow wow. With a period. All right, I think that is going to do it for this episode. Uh, we're going to go talk to the mayor next time. Just a brief introduction of Robotrek. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day.